Pictures like these show just how unexpected the encounters can be during a rally. In most cases, though, everyone is headed in the same direction and moving pretty fast. Chris Neeson is Volkswagen's head of motor racing and must not leave anything to chance during the Dakar. It's my job to put together a really good car with my team and to organize everything. And that's quite a task. All year long, they plan, test and tweak. And Nissan has to keep his drivers and co-drivers' safety in mind at all times. A tough job. The responsibility puts him under a great deal of stress. And although the team manager always seems very friendly, his drivers know exactly that he wants to see a top performance. Of course he's a tough guy. He's the toughest guy. He wants to win so bad. And so you can realize that it's his enthusiasm for winning that makes this toughness. Behind the scenes, Chris Neeson really does put pressure on his team at times, but his success proves him right. First and second place in the 2009 Dakar. The drivers know who's responsible. And he really wants the best for all of us, and he wants the best for Volkswagen. And that's, a, that's something that, yeah, you have to admire that. And so even when he's beating you up and, and really harsh, um, if, if we all keep in mind the fact that he's really looking after the brand and that's why we're all here, then it's, he has the right heart. Tough, but with his heart in the right place, that's the sports director of the Volkswagen motor racing team. And a certain degree of toughness is essential in professional sports because nothing is more taxing and more difficult than the Dakar. That's why we're so proud of our twin victory in 2009. And in 2010, we're going to do everything in our power to win again. Nissan, who suffered serious burns in an accident in 1988 as the driver of a Group C sports car on the Fuji racetrack in Japan, knows all about motor racing. He knows the pressure and he can handle it. The right man for the job for what is probably the most extreme race in the world.